Hello, and welcome back to Space Engineer Programming with Pilot 42. Alright, so today what I have for you is nothing that actually does anything useful for your station. What I have is actually something I came up with as a way to debug. Um, there is no console, there is no log, there's no text output really available to you you when you're doing a programming so if you don't know if you want to uh, debug a variable to see what its value is or um, I come up with an example of what exactly are the actions available to me uh, for a given block there's no good way to know it. so I've come up with a system that will let you know that all you need uh, is the block for setting it up um, I have a block to reset the system completely, which is not actually that useful except when you're playing around with it. Um, and something that uses an example that uses the debugger. Now, to set it up, you just need a platform or a pillar rather, and a bunch of control panels. So here's what it looks like when you use it. So we're gonna run the setup. So now you notice there's a whole bunch of lines now. Um, that's the name I've chose to basically let it let you uh, easily be able to tell what lines are which. Now let's run that program, which does a simple log output. So now we have our different lines of debugger output. So we logged block name reactor, uh, we logged its detailed info, and then we got all of its possible actions and logged both the ID and the name of the action. So now I know what all the possible reactions uh, all excuse me all the possible actions are for a reactor. And it's that simple. And now to completely reset it, I just smack this guy. So now let's go into the actual program details. So here we are in the debug setup programmable block. In it you can see I have uh, the main function, a variable, the reset debugger function, as well as the debug function. The debug function is pretty simple. It takes a string, um, and as long as there is something in it, it will output it on the next line. Now you use the reset debugger to ensure that the line is equal to zero, or if you want to start your debugging, your uh, outputting back over at line zero. The actual system by which it uh, prints the, the debugging is relatively simple. We just get a list of the terminal blocks whose name is dollar sign D or line number colon space. If you can't find it, don't crash. Otherwise, set the name to the current line name plus whatever you wanted to output, and then show it on the HUD, and increment so that we're on the next line. And that's pretty straightforward. Uh, all this does to set it up is take everything that's named control panel, um, and it gets it in the order in which you placed it. So if you just place from top to bottom a bunch of control panels, uh, this script will run perfectly, so then you'll end up with a nice line output like I have. And it just changes the name and shows it on the HUD. Uh, you probably don't want it to show on the HUD until you're actually outputting, so you probably want to change that to false. Uh, but I, I have it on true uh, just to make sure for when I'm testing. So it's pretty simple. Uh, an example of something that uses it, I wasn't sure what search for actions of name, what even some of the parameters are. Uh, now I know, because I have outputted the names. Hmm. <laughs> so in this, well, you can read the script. It's up on the workshop, uh, as well as the other, the setup script is on the workshop. You can see that I have all the debugging stuff. And let's see how many lines this is. 51 lines, not very much. Wait a minute, that's not right. 51 minus 27. <laughs> uh, so about 25, uh, just under 25 lines, and that includes white space and comments. 
Um, it was relatively simple, but I think it's kind of clever. Um, as far as I'm aware, it, nobody else has really fulfilled this need uh, that I have seen in a few places, a uh, workshop and uh, forums. So there you go. Um, until next time, I am Pilot Error, and I will see you later.